jiu-jitsu camaraderie. Friday night, after bowls, five chuckles, now we chilling. This is what jiu-jitsu is all about right here. Fighting with your friends. Choke them out and then hug it out. What Choke them out and hug them out. <laughs> Welcome to Open Mac Chronicles. Once again, we are back at you guys. 1865 Rod here. As always, we've got Schaefer in the house. What's up, Schaefer? What's happening? What's happening? Schaefer, what are we talking about today? It's a new year, man. We could brand new. Welcome to 2024. Yeah. Officially. What are we talking about? Well, I mean, I, I would like to talk about some of the good things of jujitsu. Some of the, the the things like camaraderie and like, you know, hanging out with all your peoples and and why that keeps you coming to jujitsu. Why why do you why do you go back and and take the abuse all the time. Yeah, that's, that's true, huh? Because sometimes it's Let's abuse. Let's it up a little bit, huh? Yeah, it, it, we it is. We have a depressing one. <laughs> nah, this, but this will be a good one because these are, <clears throat> I'll tell you what, these are the happy times in jiu-jitsu, yes. right? It's like there are plenty of happy times. There's ups, there's downs. We've mentioned that before. Um, there's days you don't want to show up. And then I will tell you, hell, just to get this really started, just recently, how recently? Like a couple few few days ago, I was not going to come in. I was actually I was at home, and I'm like, you know, I got shit to do. I'm like, man, I, I'm gonna freaking. I know I'm gonna be lifting in the morning. I, I don't feel like doing it, right? Plus, I was gonna go watch freaking movies. I had shit planned, and and I was not gonna come. And then I I called you, and you were like, yo. Our, boy, our boy's coming through, man. He hasn't been here in a long time. He's showing up. And then this guy's showing up. And this guy's going showing up. And I'm like, fuck. Yep. I'm like, what's that going to look like if I don't show up? <laughs> so so just the people alone motivated the shit out of me. Because it wasn't even that I was unmotivated. I just had other shit to do. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to prioritize this over this. And... Man, you you laid out who was showing up, and I was like, "Fuck it, I'm on my way." Hey, it was worth it. Wasn't it, it was totally it worth was it. Great it was time. totally worth it. And then we had a great time afterwards. You know, we all we all shot to the bar right afterwards. Had a great time. Hadn't seen a couple of people. Some people I haven't seen in you know weeks and weeks. Some I haven't seen in oh, yeah. years, yeah. dude. Years went by, and I was like, "Yeah, there's no way. There's no way I'm not showing up." That's crazy. Huh? You know, so it's like, think about some of the things, think about some of the reasons that that get you out of bed, off the chair, out of the house, and on the mat. Well, think about this. Okay, so like, think about the injuries you get. Hmm. You have my shoulder separation, knees blown out, but I still come back. Like, it's kind of weird, huh? It's For sure. Like, we're so invested in it that, like, it, it's not going to stop. You just still keep coming in, coming in, and I'm trying to explore the reason why. Why? Obviously, we love it, but why do we love it so much? I think it's because it's an experience, right? It is. It's not. It's not just something that like you you achieve this goal and then okay, I've made it and then you're done. <clears throat> it's an entire experience. I know we were talking about that whole. I'll go into my little my little analogy. I was Hell yeah! About, but if you go back to because I'm old school, right? Think of, <laughs> think of in the old days when you had to watch a movie, you would go to Blockbuster, right? Right, and that was fun, man. But you, you, it would be a kind of experience, right? You get get up. Go to Blockbuster. You get you pick out your movie. You wait in the stupid line. That wasn't fun. But you're waiting for the movie that you wanted to see. You're waiting for it to come out on video, right? Hell yeah. You get a little popcorn. But it was kind of cool. It was like it was just kind of like a little bit of an experience. Where I think that an analogy would would be because jujitsu is an experience. It's not just the end result. It's all the prep time. So the the, the journey is is just training every every time you're on the mat. That's without a doubt. And and you'll always hear people saying how it's. It's not about the belt. It's about the journey. It's yeah. about. It's not about this final end result. It's about the journey. So, like, I know this. This might jump over your head because you're not a nerd like I am. But <laughs> okay. there's um, Dragon Ball Z and all these different animes and stuff, right? It went right, right. I know, I know, I know. There, there was this. Uh, there was this guy Frieza, and it was just like this. This super powerful alien kind of fucker and they would always fight him and he would be kicking everybody's ass 
And then they would get stronger. They'd kick his ass. And then he kept saying, he's like, well, this isn't even my final form. It's, and it was always, this isn't my final form. This isn't my final form. He just, <laughs> oh, kept, just, he just kept getting stronger oh, and stronger. Like, it's like the guy in, what's the Superman movie? When, when he fought that big alien monster. Remember Superman Returns? Or no, not Superman Returns. It's the the DC one. Oh, when, Doomsday. When Doomsday. he fought Doomsday, right. He, he kept getting stronger, stronger and stronger. Time, yes. So, and that was the thing, right? And he always talked about his final form, but then there was always more, right? And yeah. and that's kind of how you are with jujitsu. It's like you're like, okay, I started, you know, I'm getting beat up. He's like, but this isn't my final form. It's like wait till I get my black belt, right? And then, you know, a decade goes by, and your and, final, and your final form, <laughs> right? <laughs> your final form gets here, and then you realize. Shit, this this isn't my final form either. <laughs> it's like this shit doesn't stop. It just doesn't stop. I can get better, but then at some point in time I'm gonna start getting worse. You know, it's like I wanna always be there. I yeah. wanna always be involved in jujitsu, but I don't think no one's ever gonna get a final form. I guess I, I guess the final form is when you when you take that dirt nap. That's that's that's, that's pretty much your final form. But well, no, you made a good point earlier. We were talking about it, and you were saying something about like how how it, you're going to adapt with the changes that are going on. Something absolutely, like absolutely. You're going to have, you know, you, let, let's say you get going, you're getting really, really good. Hell, we can we can rattle off a bunch of really, really good blue and purple belts right now, right? And they're going to be good brown and black belts. Yes. I, I can tell you that right now, and they're going to probably be way better than I ever was as a black belt, yeah. right? They're they're getting there faster. They're learning more. They just have access to so much more stuff. They started younger, everything. And there. they started younger. <laughs> and, and they're going to be really, really good. But they're not going to maintain that peak performance forever. Exactly. In fact... I, I I wish the best for everyone. I hope this never happens. But more likely than not, they're going to experience an injury. Yeah. And that's going to change how they fight. Exactly. And then you're going to be like, well, wait a minute. I had it dialed in. This was my game. I'm the leg lock guy. I'm the I'm the flying arm bar yeah. guy. If you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> so I'm this, I'm that. But then I got hurt. But I still want to train. I, I gotta still stay on the mats. I'm still jujitsu. I don't want to get hurt again, I don't though. Do that move I did last right? time. Right. And then your game changes. Game changes. You know. So now you're learning how to do something a little bit differently, yep. and then next thing you know, you got all these new people who show up, and they only know you the way you are now. Exactly. And they they're like, like, oh, man, that's that guy. He he only fights to the left side, yeah, yeah. not realizing it's because you got your right <laughs> side jacked up yeah. and you can't do it like that anymore. Yeah. So, again, I, I, I'm, I'm rambling on the final form, and I'm going to keep coming back to it because I was really, really good with, with you know, my left and my right. I did this, like, technical stand-up. I could kind of roll up into this move, and it was just good. I, and I'd pull them in the butterfly, hit my sweeps. Blew my knee out, my left knee, and healed up, kept fighting. But to this day, I, uh, I can't do a move. I can't, yeah. like, do a, a little little roll to a stand-up yeah, on my that. left side. And I'm like, holy shit. But... It never stopped me, you know. What I mean, that's you just adapt. right. I just adapted and I moved on, and and I, I keep doing the damn thing. And I'm sure, D- dude, I, I got that too. Yeah. Right, yeah, we I all got, got that dead shoulder, side. Yeah, shoulder. you got a freaking dead shoulder. I hope I never get arrested because this shoulder will never get behind my back. Oh my god, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, man, get an extra set of cuffs that's because terrible. I can't, I can't go back that far. This one's pretty good. This one's shot. Right. And, and this one's good because I tore my ACL. And I was about to say, the that's the said, one. <laughs> he goes, it's actually going to be better when you heal. <laughs> Cause, that's cause cr- the one is fr- crazy. I but I have to adapt, man. I just adapt. And I just. Well, you're like get, Wolverine, dude. Trying to get that's the thing. Inside. Yeah, yeah, right. Oh, my God. So, right. And then, so now we're dealing with all these things. We're healing. We're, we're, we're adapting. We're changing. We're learning how to fight around our injuries. Then we get really, really good at doing this thing. And it just never stops. Yeah, it never, it never, you never master it. I think that's why we keep coming back. Because think of this way. Let's say you have a hobby, like you're, you're building a car, or maybe you're into renovating your home, or whatever. Right. It's a physical object. 
once you re once you restore the car or you got your home and you got your pool and you got all that stuff done, right? You're like, okay, you kind of get bored. Like I've already mastered it. There's nothing else to do. With jujitsu, you never master it. Ever. Never, ever, ever master it. And like you like you're saying, even when you think you're gonna master it, your body's gonna change. So your your whole game has to change. You're constant. You have, almost have to relearn to a degree. Yes. So yes. It, it it requires that. It, it take you have to take in your new circumstances, make the adaptation, and say, okay. If I still plan on being good, this is my new normal. That's the new me. <laughs> it's a different. It's new me. And, and that could be scary, man. Yeah. But it's still fun, though. It's challenging. I think that's, that's a cool fun. thing. Super yeah. fun. Uh, you've told, you've said so many times, you're like, you know, this guy we're fighting, especially when, you know, they're fighting you, like, you're like, damn. They don't realize, yeah. like, don't come at me like I'm 20-something years old. <laughs> and you're not. You're not 20-something years old. Yeah. And they're coming at you. With the mentality of like, well, he's in great shape. He's a black yeah. belt. He must be like, he's okay. He's okay. I'm gonna yeah. fucking come at him like a yeah. like a fucking Tasmanian devil. And they do. And then you beat him. <laughs> you beat him the fuck up, right? Which is awesome. <laughs> Which is really really cool that you're still beating the dog shit out of these young boys. I have my moments. <laughs> you have a lot of moments, right? So you're beating them up, and then I know we go to the bar after, and you're like. Damn! You like <laughs> this? This guy tried to kill me. He tried to rip my head off. Right? He tried to rip my head off, and then I'm like, "Hey, man, that's why you had to drop back on that heel hook on him." Because <laughs> I'll tell you what, it's for me too. Like if I'm fighting, and I'm like, "Yo, I can't keep up with this fool." No. I'm like, "I gotta tap him out." I was like, at first, I thought we were just gonna have a good roll. Quick kills. Yeah. Then I gotta do the quick kill. I'm like, "Shit, I'm gonna have to wrist lock this some bitch or something." Yeah. But it's just that adaptation again, you know. We we have to, we have to grow and change with the times. Yep. With you know, Father Time, would you say he's undefeated? He's undefeated. He's undefeated. He's going, he's going to get you. you but can stave him off as long as you can, but he's going to get you. Make him fight. But also, it's true too, like going to the bar, right? It is fun. Like afterwards, oh, totally. it's it's kind of weird. It's like we're all in there fighting, trying to hurt each other, not injure each other, but I you know, know we're trying to hurt each other to win, right? For sure. But then we go to the bar, we hug it out, we have a beer or whatever, we just chill, we have a great time. That's awesome. I mean, those are some of the best nights, man, is just, just being around my buddies and my jiu-jitsu brethren, you know. And a lot of times what happens, it just becomes story time. Yeah. Right? You're sitting there, and and again, that camaraderie comes through with shared experience. Oh, it's yeah. like, oh, man, remember that time that, that such and such snapped such and such's shoulder? Oh, shit was crazy. And then, you know, and, it, and he'll be there, and he's like, yeah, I remember that shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? And it, was, it wasn't cool at the time. But but you can look back at it and kind of laugh. Yeah, you look like, back, time heals all wounds it, it type really thing. Does. You know? Right, because you'll never feel the same way years later that you felt in that moment it is really in that true. moment it's really true so anyone yeah. that's injured right now you just like forget about it you're gonna you'll get over it it'll heal you'll be fine because even the, some of the bad injuries like the the ac separation like the knee that's just right. depressing dude it's yeah but it's i don't even care right now but it's now hard. yeah it's now it's, it's gone it's, yeah i laugh about what, it what, what no do they say uh, it's a good story hakuna matata <laughs> yeah. it's like yeah. the fucking lion king right at least i got stories <laughs> oh yeah I blew my knee up. i can sound tough dude right? we have a lot of stories <laughs> hey i i always tell <laughs> I, I tell people, all right. Put my nail three times. I always say to guys, chicks dig scars, Big right? Up. So that's the first thing. And then this is a shout out to my boy Joel. So he and I, we were coming up together in jujitsu. Um, I might have mentioned before, like we when we actually got promoted, uh, our promotion to black belt. I showed up in a blue gi. He showed up in a red gi. It was like double <laughs> dragon, right? It was like it was it, it was like this old video game we used to play. And Joel will never let me freaking live this down. Way before we were even in, even brown belts, right? I I don't know how, but I broke his nose, right? Uh, I think I was like maybe I like kind of posted on his face because you know we're 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 kind of mean we're like we're we're really really aggressive and really mean at assets and I guess I just crushed his nose in right 
And so, it's, so he, he's like, yeah, my nose is crooked and blah, blah, blah. You brought New Jersey to California. I try, man. I do my best, right? <laughs> you know, I was rolling with Heyman. He literally tried to, tried to grape, oh my gosh. grape choke me. So I'm that. Like, Thanks, Harold. Yes, that that comes from. <laughs> so we, we started to call that the Dominator because the other name is very politically incorrect. Yes. And that's the one where you basically. You just kind of open hand, Grape. chop somebody in the throat, <laughs> but you're pressing off. So, so I crushed Joel's nose, snapped it all up, and he was like, "Oh man," he's like, "This bullshit, blah blah blah." And just year after year, he was just like, "Oh, I remember that time you did this?" Oh, yeah. and so he's a super smart guy. He's like a freaking scientist and shit. Uh, married, married this chick, super, super good looking lady. And I, to this day, I keep telling Joe, I'm like, you do realize that you wouldn't be with her if it wasn't for me. I'm like, you needed that scar. I was like, you needed me to. Cr-. I was like, you, you trying to be a pretty boy? I had to crush your face up a little bit. So now she's like, oh, he looks tough. Boom, happily married. <laughs> so I was like, I was like, so you owe me now, Joe. <laughs> but it's stories like that, right? It's like I know that we could grab. Any of our guys who've been around us for a little bit, and they can tell you a story. Yeah, they can tell you a story. You know, I, here you go. I, I'll I'll take a step back, just off the fly. Give me a story. Oh man, now you. I know. I threw you. I thought you're like shit. Brain fart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we need a computer crash. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> so, just but there are lots of stories. Yeah, I mean, look, we can go back. Me hurt. I, well, but there you go. I got a lot of stories actually. Give us a story about getting hurt. Man, okay. The last one, I'll do the AC AC story. Mm. AC separation. I was at I was at Bruce. Shout out to Bruce. Bruce Bruce's is always party. fun to hang out with. Good parties. Oh man, that was crazy, dude. I'm rolling with. I think it was. I was rolling with. I want to say it was Wes. I think it was Little Wes. He and hurt me too. I was doing. I was. <laughs> you know, yeah, I was big into those diving toe holds. Where I don't do those anymore. I stopped doing them. It's funny. I talked to a lot of guys like, yeah, I don't do those anymore. Those are right. <laughs> I might have had one or two few too many libations. Ah. And we had a little bit of mat, but it wasn't on like a flotation. It was, it was on, on concrete. concrete. Yeah. yeah. So I did a really slow because I was trying to go slow. I was trying to really go slow, and I just didn't tuck it all the way in. It's the weirdest thing, man. I, I probably dropped two feet. Yeah. But I heard a crack. And it tore my AC. I'm like, I can't believe I tore my AC Dude, from that. And I remember, I didn't even get a good story out of it. Like, God, we, are you kidding me? So it's really not a good story. We got some good. I think I might have some good pictures of that too. Which I, are, we got pictures. Which, which, your, which your arm is yeah, like arm sitting like all low and shit. Got my Black Panther rash guard on. I'm all jacked yes. up. Big old things sticking way up. Here. Oh damn! But you know what's funny though? Here's the funny thing. I'm glad it happened. My shoulder is good. This shoulder is way more flexible now than it ever has been. Now that's not us suggesting that you go break your don't, shoulders yeah, for flexibility. Your see, <laughs> but I kind of I, I, I wouldn't be mind, I wouldn't mind if I did this one though. I'm being serious. <laughs> this one is so bad I can't even touch. My, dude, there's got oh, there's got to be a better way. I'll buy you a back be scratcher, dude. I'll get you one of those expend, extendable back scratchers, yeah, yeah. dude. But thinking about that, let's play on that. Okay, so when you said Bruce and like Wes, mm-hmm. what about people? Like these are the people that we know. You know, we have you know they're friends of ours that like. You get to know these guys, and then you miss them after a while. Like, oh, absolutely, man, I haven't seen that guy in a long time. Oh, and then man. they come in after like years. Like, oh my god, I see this guy. It's like a reunion. It is. That's the and, great and part it, of jujitsu. You so can have fun. a reunion in jujitsu, damn near every week. Kind of can because you'll have people who go into other schools, moved away, came back from visiting. Yeah. Hell, we just had you know Larry and Isabella came through, oh, yeah. and, they were, and they were teaching. They've Wait, been going. You have Rich. Rich, Rich, Rich just came back. back. That's what I said, man. Like three years. I haven't seen him in three years. You know what it's like? Almost, it's kind of weird, but it's it's like high school because it's fun, right? <laughs> it is fun. fun, dude. Like it is. Fun. It has the same little aspects of drama. There's, you, know, you gotta admit, there's drama there's definitely jiu-jitsu, Brazilian jujitsu right? drama. <clears throat> there's little like little clicks of people that are gonna like gonna click up to their little thing, right? So there's a high school component to it, but it's like if high school never ended. Right? Yeah, and then you see this other guy. Maybe he's gone. Maybe this guy does go. He moves to another state or whatever. He's gone. But then out of the blue, he'll pop up. Yeah. Like, oh, so God, and I haven't it, seen you in a decade. And here you go. Awesome. I'm that guy when it comes to the Hassett people, right? Yeah, you. Are. I'm that guy because I went across the country and I've been out here for almost nine years, and like, he's I'll dead go. To me. No. Well, no, exactly the exact opposite, <laughs> yeah. right? I I went home and I went and trained over at Hassett's. And I saw a bunch of people I never met, never met, don't know them from Adam. And they're like, you're Harold? I was like, 
yeah. They're like, oh, so you're the shaver he's talking about. I'm like, damn. I was like, I was like, I hope it's good. He's like, yeah, it's really good. It's so good. Blah, blah, blah. But like, there's stories about me yeah. being told. And I'm like, wow, that that's cool that people still remember yeah, you, right? You left a, it's an impression. Like, yeah, and, and, and a good one, yeah. apparently. And we do the same. Because yeah. look, we mentioned we mentioned our buddy Billy not too long ago oh, yeah, yeah. because we we're talking about the flying, flying arm bar. I, think, Billy was, I right? think he was the first one locally. <laughs> I stand by that. I stand by that. He I, was locally. When I, I was locally. telling I was telling somebody, I think I was telling our boy Trevor about a good class that we had years ago, right? It was it was like me and it was Gus. Uh there's another brown belt at the time, this dude Sky, you know, we, oh, yeah, we had Sky. yeah, he was a cool yeah. guy, right? Yeah, and cool. I remember I was like, look, what should we do, Gus? What, what, what would be cool? And we were like, yeah, man, you know what? How about me, you, and Sky versus everybody else <laughs> at the same time? We were like, hell yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> so we did like a jujitsu, like, you know, like the 300 Battle of Thermopylae yeah. where you're like, <laughs> yeah. it was us versus everybody awesome. at the same time. And we were like, we're probably not going to win this. But let's give it a fucking let's shot, it, yeah. right? And they all rushed us. Dude, we're, we're like trying to hip toss people. We're trying to take you gotta, them you gotta down. Take out Trevor first. No, no, no. Trevor wasn't there for this. Oh, one. He that, was there. I was telling Trevor the story. Oh, okay, okay. And, and man, we, we, we tapped a few. We tapped a few because we went for the quick kill. <laughs> yeah, we were like, oh, you got to get him, got to get him. And then they swarmed us, dude, and they just took us down and they beat us up. But you know, that's but it was a thing. good story. Just even saying the name Sky. Right, it's like so you could you can name one guy and you already know oh man he's old school you know what I mean you already know kind of like where he's from or what like how long he's been around just by mentioning another grappler yeah like because that was a long time ago when Scott was at our school it was way a long time, long ago, time ago dude ago. at least seven years yeah maybe longer. maybe no not not too much longer because then it would have been before me okay but Sky I I think I I knew Sky for like a good year and a half two years okay. and yeah so that would put him about yeah. about seven years ago nice. man. It was good times, and it's still good times because, because look, see, like this might be the freaking shout out episode, right? <laughs> yeah. Because shout out everybody. Else. Yeah, because think about who we're having good times with right now. You yeah. know what I mean? Like we got the, yeah. our boy Oleg. You know, oh, yeah. it's like he is getting really good, Oleg is, yeah. really fast, he's, he's right? So he hangs out, and yes. it's cool. Like he's super enjoyable to speak with. Yes. Like you know. Good family guy. He's like freaking, you know. He's he's yeah. he's he's well rounded and grounded. Good Christian man. Yeah, he is, and it's like cool, man. Like great conversations with yes. him. Um, you know, with the the Moldovian perspective on things, <laughs> right? <laughs> you know, and, and then we got our our new homie James. You know, he brought us he brought us a hell of a brisket the other day. Like that is crazy, man. We got <laughs> we had like three tri tips. Trevor bought in a big thing of ribs. Yep, like yep. we just cook it up at our school. We had good roll open mat for like two hours. Hell yeah. We're all gassed out, tired. Then we go eat, try tips, drink. Like, the, dude, how can you top that? Like Eric's you, old lady put together that spicy oh, shit yeah, for that us. Was great. She put oh, that over yeah. top of the tri stick. Eric, I gotta get that recipe too. <laughs> really good. I'm gonna ask see if he, if he can. I'm, I'm sure they'll hook you up. Really good. Yeah, you black belt. Black belt. <laughs> <laughs> of course they'll hook you up. But, but yeah, it's that, like that it's that just fun, man. All these the are stories. all little experiences that like but the difference is like these these can keep going on though. So even if you're old, 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 you could still take part in these experiences. They're know? going to keep going. If keep you going. keep showing up, you're going to keep yes. on experiencing it because exactly. it's an ever changing tapestry. It's never going to be the same forever. Exactly. Because I mean, hell, man, think about it. When do everybody when when do people leave? Like they leave at blue belt. Blue belt. Right? So if we if we meet a hundred new white belts. 70 will be gone. Yeah. You know what I mean? 70 of them are going to disappear. A lot of them blow out too. Yeah, they blew out, but but some of them are cool, right? And then you're almost a lot like, of great people. You're, you're like, sad. damn. You're like, why'd you leave? It's like, you were actually a really cool person. I, know. I liked you. I know. And now you're gone. You, you just disappear. This is the bad thing. Okay, this is going to, this, and I don't want to be negative. No, you're, I know exactly what you're going to say. Go, hell yeah. Okay, and they and you're tell right. me like, like, yo, man. <laughs> Screw the wife man. Forget about them. But you can't though. But what happens is the reason they say that is you, you get emotionally invested in these white belts. And I it happened to me many times. And you yeah. really put your heart and soul into trying to, you know, building them up. Yep. 
And next thing you know, they freaking bounce. Gone. I've had at least three or four times. Guys <laughs> like, I can't believe, man. Yeah. I had one guy left. Uh, uh, he got his blue belt. And I work with this guy a lot, dude. Right, I was right. really invested in this guy. He got his blue belt. He left. He went to another school. Dig it. And it make the matter worse. Then he quits the other school. And he just uh, quits all together. Like, yeah, we can't even Yeah, do that sucks, us. man. You know, bounce us and then quit there. <laughs> really, dude? That sucks. But, it's rough. But you can't really take that attitude because, like, think of the white belts we have now. They're they're solid. And, and you still have to invest in them, you know? And, and I can't assume that they're going to quit. And even if they do. Exactly. That, then they do. You know, it doesn't mean that they don't deserve your attention and your help just because they might not be as, as committed as I am, you know. That's 100% correct. I mean, you... We have a duty to help them. You that. have to. That's our job. That's, yeah, at Black Belt, that's what changes. You share know. the art. Yeah. Right? I say that... No you, taking you notes. Definitely, I'm not saying names. You know who you are. You know who you are. You definitely you are. have to no share... Checklist. You have to share the, share the art at Black Belt. You should share the art whenever you can. But you can't ignore the white belts or no. anybody else. It's like, and I know that's the thing. And they're like, ah, if they survive long enough to be blue belts, then we'll, then we'll learn white your name. Yeah. White belts are food. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, you, you know, you gotta, you gotta, <laughs> Hey, listen, if you're a shark, you gotta eat, right? Well, that's just, okay. So you say blue belt, they bounce, right? What about stripes? Like, is there, is there a correlation between like, okay, I'm a blue belt with one or two stripes. No. Well, are they bouncing, or are they bouncing like right when they I hit the think, blue belt, they tend to bounce. Right? I think just anywhere along the blue belt because, and because remember we talked about that. It's like blue belt is usually a long belt because white belt comes and you're like, Oh man, you know, you felt that progression relatively quickly, maybe a year, maybe two. Yeah, yeah. But then blue belt, you might sit for three, four years sometimes, you know, to, some more, some less, but it just feels like it's slower, right? Because, hey, from from just wearing your regular leather belt that you go to work in and you throw on a white belt, well, from there to blue belt, it's really not that long. And it, you're, you're just basically learning what jujitsu is, the basics yeah, you're, of jujitsu. You're, you're able to form right? a, a you're not sentence. Not much is really expected of yeah. you, you know. But then when you get to blue belt, a lot more is expected of you to get the purple belt. Yeah. So, yeah, that's why we lose a lot of them. You lose a lot of people at blue belt because it just – it's just they feel stagnated, like yeah. you know, and and that sucks because again we're dealing with people that you're starting to get to know. Yeah. You're like, oh man, these are cool people, they're and then cool they're people, just man. gone. Like the weirdest shit to me is knowing people, having them in my like Facebook or Instagram or whatever the fuck social media feed you have, and like, oh man, this guy was cool or this guy was cool, and they don't do jujitsu anymore. Oh, that does suck. And then I'm like, yeah, and they're good too, especially they're good. Well, like, yeah, I, I got, it's, like, it's, I got a ton of them in my head right now. If I'm they're like, Man, good, that's awesome. awesome. But I now I've lost something in common with you, and it's like, shit. What do we talk about? It's like I I, I can't really tell you about all the cool shit that's happening in jujitsu because yeah. you're not experiencing yeah. it anymore. Yeah. So you there's a wedge mm-hmm. now. And that's exactly. weird, man. Like, I hate it, but I, I think I can I can think of s- several people who I just don't really talk to anymore because they don't do jujitsu anymore. Yeah, it happens, huh? It does. It sucks. <laughs> Never quit jujitsu. <laughs> keep one foot in, man. Yeah. Just keep a, little, keep a little toe in the water a little bit, right? Something. Just keep showing up. Yeah. Because I, you what know, you'll notice is if you don't show up, then you're not dealing with the people, and then you just kind of – Feed away. I think what it is too is like people do what they're good at, right? If you think about it, take any sport. Let's say you're going to take up golf and you're really good at golf, you're probably going to still keep golfing, right? You're going to keep going. Unless you suck. If you suck, you're probably not going to go. But if you're good at it, <laughs> why would you stop? Yeah, I suck at golf. Okay, but I think if you're really good, though. <laughs> I if know. If you're really good, you probably go. I know. Right? I, I just went to Top Golf, though. That's why I, yeah, just, yeah, I no, went I out there. It. I get it. I'm not good at golf either. I thought but... I was going to fall over the damn railing. <laughs> <laughs> you too, man. <laughs> No, but right, if you're good at something, so I think what happens is maybe people have a, maybe their perception could be a little bit different than reality, and they assume that it's going to be easier than what it is. For sure. And they're harder on themselves than what they should be. Because I, I tell you, man, we had a we had a blue belt that was, he was really talented, this guy. Like, this guy was really solid, and he rolled super, super hard, though. Um, pretty good. He, right. This was maybe several years ago when he would come in, and he used to, like, give me a really good fight. But this was years ago, and I think I was might have been a blue or purple. And he just quit, got his blue belt and quit. And I'm like, I can't believe that guy quit. That guy was a solid. Yeah. Anyway, so the bad thing is, feel bad. 
he came in recently. This is within the last year, bro. And he tried to he tried to do the same hard roll. I had to maul him, bro. I had to. I had because I think he thought I was gonna be the same, right? So I'm like, yeah. yo, dude, things have changed a little bit. Damn. I mauled him, and you know what? I feel bad. He never came back. So, oh, man, I'm guilty. Wow, I'm sorry. No, it's not even. But I it's had not, to. You like, had to. If I you didn't, absolutely. Say, oh, this sucks. But look at I, I came back and I still whipped your butt. And right? that's that's one of the things where we talked about that before too. It's like sometimes you got to check a motherfucker. Yeah, you had to, man. Even if they're even if they're good people, it's like nice guy too. I don't want you to show up and think. Well, you know, that means the last eight yeah, years, yeah, or whatever, five years, nothing. I just wasted. Right, and it's not even so much that. I wasted it. I don't want you to look at this freaking art that I yeah. love and think that you can just walk away walk forever in. and then come back and go, well, I'm still going to be as good as exactly. as the best guy. Exactly. No, you're not. They're putting in blood, sweat, tears. They're on the mats. They're training. They're like, I have seen people, same with you, right? You Like you were saying, they leave, they come back, and they're like, damn. One of my really good boys, man. Like he, you know, he should be a black belt. Damn near, at least they yeah, about a second degree by now. No, by maybe third. Like he, oh, wow. he was on track. He was like right behind me, and you know, life got in the way. I get it. And then you know, he hopefully. I, I still, I keep saying, man, come back, come back. Like I hope he returns and and just gets back in. Don't don't quit. Man, that's for everybody. Like, don't quit. Like, because you put so much into it to get to this. Yeah, point. might have had a couple of injuries. You know, you take time away from your family. It might have cost you. You know, like some people, man, it's expensive. It's an expensive sport. Yeah, it's not cheap emotionally. You know? <laughs> yes, it's not emotionally <laughs> cheap either. Hell no, man. Yeah, you gotta you gotta stick with it. If you now, I feel like I'm doing a public service announcement. If you <laughs> if you feel like you might quit jujitsu. Obviously, you know, it's an individual choice. It's, you have to do what makes sense for you. But, man, express that shit to some of the people you roll with and that you trust. And get their point of view. Tell them what the fuck you're thinking. Because we talked about plateaus the other day, right? Maybe you're just hitting a plateau and you're like, oh, man, I'm not feeling it. I'm not progressing. Fuck this shit. I'm putting in too much yeah, work and not getting that's, enough return. That's actually a really interesting point you just made because think about it. If you're in, let's say you're in college, you're not going to just drop out. You're going to talk to somebody, right? Fucking counselors. Gonna, yeah, yeah. There's a, because it's it's a group sport, but it's very individualized. People don't really talk about it. They just bounce. Yep. Because they, I think you're right. If, they if, feel isolated. Yeah. And and again, this <clears throat> fucking sucks. It's it's sometimes the mentality of, ah, well, I'm not going to fucking even know this guy's name because yeah. he didn't stay. Which was the way it was back in the day. It was like, all right, well, if you can't hack yeah, it, yeah. fuck you, leave. Exactly. Exactly. Right? And I, and I get that. I get that. That's how I came up. I came up with the fuck you, leave, yeah. you know, yeah. time, the era. And I'm glad I didn't leave. But then I'm also a counselor by profession. You know what I mean? So so I do talk to people. And, you know, we, we've, we've had a couple of our boys who've said, they're like, man, heck, this, is, this shit is – it's not working out. And I'm like, nah, fuck that. You you cannot quit. Like, you got to just keep showing up. It's like, yeah, I know you're fucking injured. Yeah, I know you're fucking old. Yeah, I know it's this. I know it's that. It's like, fuck that shit. Get, get, just show up. Yeah. Just show up. Because I think what it is, like, people don't know that other people in the school, it affects them. They really care about them, too. Like, Hell like yeah. For me, it, was, it really came true. I remember at one time, I was, I was kind of on the fence about leaving. And I had another one of my, you know, jujitsu brethren at that time. This must have been like maybe four or five years ago. They kind of like talked to me, gave me a call, talked to me off the wall. And I was like, I'm like, that was, that really meant a lot because they actually cared about, you know, me as a person, you know. And so it just meant a lot to me. Just like, oh, that's pretty cool, man. You know, these guys actually do care about you. And we do care about everybody in our school. Hell I yeah. Take, I take a personal interest in everybody at the school. Man. Without a them. doubt. Yeah. And I always tell everybody, I was like, listen, I am an open book. Yeah. I, I, I say that all the time in my classes. I'm like, look, man. I don't have any fucking jujitsu secrets. You know what I mean? If it's jujitsu related and I know it, oh, yeah. and you want to yeah. know it, consider it done. No, I, no, no, I, you don't have yeah. a notebook? No, nothing hidden. No fucking special techniques. Nothing hidden. Do you have a little checklist? Of Not at all. My, my only checklist would be how many people I've helped. <laughs> that, that, I know. I, I, I <laughs> but that's, I so for me, it's like, 
I want you to to learn. I want you to do better. I want to do better because you're doing better, exactly. right? It's that rising tide lifting all boats. all boats. You get better. I have to get better if it I want to stay better, ahead man. of you. Yeah. yeah. And, again, I believe it or not, I'm actually a really nice person, and <laughs> I do I do take that interest in trying to help people. I, I genuinely – don't wish ill will on anyone. You're friendly. I'm okay. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. I'm friendly. <laughs> so I mean, like you and I, right? Look, I guess we have been cool pretty much, pretty damn quickly from the time yeah. I got to the school, yeah. right? Like, yeah. um, yeah, we clicked, and it was like, oh shit, this is cool guy, this yeah, cool motherfucker are. right here, right? And <laughs> we just are. kick it, and it's like it was it was me, you, and our boy Chris Roberson. Yeah, yeah, Chris, <laughs> yeah. Chris. So we were having good times and shit, and and 1865 and, and me, we we just we said fuck it, man, let's let's keep doing let's shit, keep let's doing make it. a podcast, That's it. let's let's just stay involved, let's. Have some fun. Too bad we talk got some Chris shit. Here, man. I know. Yo, on it, man. I, I, you know he what I gotta do? Him. We're gonna have to just put him like on a put screen a, or some shit, Chris, and man. just yeah, like have him whatever drinks he's got over there yeah. out in Tejas, and uh, yeah, we can have some fun. So that's but, a perfect example. Watch, he does come down occasionally. He came down like what? It was like three yeah, years ago. yeah, yeah, yeah. And he comes like, oh yep. man, Chris. Was, it's like a reunion. You're like, oh, it is. It's like. But see, you don't really get that in high school. You got to go to high school reunion every ten years. Dude, I got my thirtieth. My thirtieth high school reunion is coming up. Oh, that's all. You don't want to go to that. <laughs> I'm not don't go going. To that. Don't go to high school reunions. <laughs> Do not go. It's a waste of time. Yeah. Yeah, it's a waste of time. I mean, that'd be kind of cool though. I don't know. No, it probably wouldn't. There even was be one cool. cool thing I remember. Shit. So here's my little last thing. There was this. So I had a crush on this girl. She was like, <laughs> like the prettiest girl in high school, right? Right. Right. And I'm not going to say who she is. Nah, that's cool. Is. But anyway, <laughs> I liked this chick all through high school and even through, like, out of high school, like, in my early 20s. I'd see her at the club every now and then. Okay. She was fine, dude. So she always had tons of options, right? Yeah. But then I think I went to my, it might have been my 20th reunion or something like that. Yo, dude, you want to talk about <laughs> <laughs> I'll go too deep, bro. So, you, so you, you, were, you were happy you, Yo, you dude, missed the opportunity. Yeah, you, you stopped me. <laughs> yes, I am stopping Because there is this thing yes. called she hit it. Whatever it was, that, that's there that you Well, hit. We, we, you know, Woo! listen. It, it's, and she was it's, all nice. Hey, let's dance. I'm like, I'm good. It's one of Father good. Time's weapons. <laughs> <laughs> and I was in my peak too. I was like probably like mid thirties. I see. I was making a ton of money, you know, there running you clubs in San Diego. I was tight, dude. Oh, uh, you were you were on party I'm like, mode. Yeah, I'm good. She was freaking ooh, party man. monster. It gave me the willies. <laughs> <laughs> she did not age well. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well. See, we age like fine wine. Yeah. So that's that's cool. Let's let's change lanes. Yeah, I mean, going to 1865 mode. Yeah, that's definitely going to 1865. <laughs> <laughs> That's for the bar. That's for the bar. That's for, that's, if you ever, if that, you ever it. want to see the unfiltered, yeah, yeah. come to the bar. That, that is, that is Old Man Chronicles, the Witching Hour. Holy <laughs> shit! Yeah, I don't know about that, boy. I, yeah. <laughs> yes, we're trying. We're trying to stay. We'll stay focused. We're trying to stay on the air. <laughs> <We're Yeah>. try- <laughs> and then, so, but it's a story. It happened. It is a story, and it's a true story, it's a true and story. it happened. Listen, so don't look at what's the moral. Do not go to your reunion. It's a waste that of was time. the that was the moral. Unless you want to feel a little vindicated, like oh, I feel no, good. And no, then because see, again, I, I didn't don't. Plan I, it, just the way I, it went out. My, oh, my ego, my ego's not like that, right? That's I, don't, what made it worse. I don't. Yeah, I left that part out. It made it work. I had a little like twenty two year old high ah, with me. Ah, there you go. Oh, you were partying back then before I was a Christian. But you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. But that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, I guess I probably won't go. Don't go. Fuck. Please don't go. <laughs> just like just like the old song from the song from the 80s. Don't go. <laughs> All right. We are fucking rambling at this point in time, dude. But here's the here's the deal, right? You're gonna have you're gonna have the camaraderie built up. You're going to provided you find the right school, because there are some asshole schools out there. But if you if you get a good group of people around you, they're going to be like family. Um, you're going to miss them when they're gone. You're going to think about them when you're not there. You're going to have great times and great stories with them. And you're going to want to see them, right? And you should because, what did I say? If it's important to you, you'll find, you'll a, way. find a way. And if it's not, you'll, you'll find, find an excuse. So get out there, train, be with your friends, be with your family, 
man, this jujitsu family is huge. So it is huge. enjoy it. Enjoy, enjoy it. the journey. That's all important. Right Absolutely. All right. On that note, that's it. We will see you on the next one. Peace. Us. Awesome.